on this wonderful world of Disney. A life or death struggle in part two of The Secret of the Pond. I'm gonna kill that otter. A boy follows his instincts for revenge, only to learn the terrifying feeling of being hunted himself until his new friend intervenes and teaches him forgiveness. Hey, you, Mr. Sam. A great family story. The Secret of the Pond, coming up next. Our story begins after these important messages. And now we present The Secret of the Pond. In part one of The Secret of the Pond, Joey Moncrief arrived at his uncle's backwoods home for a month-long stay. His fascination for hunting would almost bring tragedy in the woods. Don't shoot! But the close call put him face to face with Odie and Claude White. They told of the horrors that awaited him in the swamp. Head of Rufus McCoodle prowls around the bog, looking for revenge. Hey! A more immediate terror was Sam White, a good-for-nothing who always bullied the children. Charlie, the boy's dog, held a special interest for Joey. But the dog didn't accept the boy's overtures of friendship. You're smart, Charlie. Sit here, brat. Rubbing my nose in it. Spider-Man's dog! When Joey finally did venture into the swamp, he had begun to believe the legend of Rufus Makuta. Understanding the boy's fascination, Joey's uncle then decided to show him the swamp and introduced him to a Tabby, reclusive friend. This is Joey Moncrief, my nephew down from Richmond. Pleased to meet you, Joey. Mr. Sharby? Sharby taught Joey to appreciate wild things. With that new sense of appreciation, Joey began a fresh friendship with Charlie. And now, The Secret of the Pond, Part 2. Gotcha! What's that you say, Joey? Gotcha. Dogging it. Doing nothing. Reed. Sure beats jumping wood. Well, I guess you could put it down to doing nothing. But you could say I've been sailing seas I've never seen, talking to people I never met, thinking thoughts beyond myself. I guess this nothing is more something than most anything else Sharby does. Well, it's a lazy day. Yeah, you've been busy enough winning Charlie over. It might be. You're the first person to ever get that cross. Must have worked a bit of magic. One day he found me fishing. Just picked that time to decide I didn't breathe fire, I suppose. <laughs> well, feeding him fish sure didn't break Charlie out of his shell. Wasn't feeding him. Just the opposite, in a way. I caught this bass. A big bass. Beautiful. I let it go. Looked up, and there was Charlie. There's a word here in this book, Joey. It's a uh, ambience, meaning just a feeling. There's a communication in the way you feel that others can sense. And animals are the most sensitive of all. Now, there, there's no way I'm saying for sure. But maybe that dog knew you came to the pond to blast the place apart and take from it. Or maybe when he saw you putting back that bass, he came to feel that you were abiding with things.
gonna be all right, Charlie. You're gonna be all right. Can't earn his keep. Only thing, Joe, is to shoot him. No, not that. Look at his leg. No blood, but all swole up. That leg ain't never gonna be right. We gotta get him to a vet. Doctors can do things. I can pay whatever it takes. Ah. Ain't no vet anywhere near here. Folks out this way take care of their own. Pap! I'm not letting you. Joey, you gotta be gone from here. A bad leg. You throw him in the ash can. Shoot him. Pap's coming. Something's been eating him up lately. Lord knows what. But anyway, you gotta get away. He ain't nothing but screaming meanness. You gotta go. You gotta leave. Please. Ah! Howdy! he'll be doing for a while. He'll be all right. Maybe, but no promises, Joey. And his leg. Odie and Claude, they said he'd be late. All you can do is hold a good thought. Wait and see. Sausage and eggs. Compliments of your Uncle Ben. Went to see him last night after you dozed off. Let him know you'd be spending a bit of time here. I'm going to the store. I need some shells. And a knife, a skinning knife. The pelt of that otter is the one trophy I will bring away from here. So 
son. I know you got some sorrow, but you've got to realize that you can't go on this way. Now, that otter Sergeant, might... I'm going to get that otter. It's the last thing I do. You talk about abiding by things. Like this place was some kind of paradise. Everything getting along. There's a way to things that happen in the world. Sometimes you just got to roll. I'm going to kill that otter, Sharby. So help me if it takes me the rest of my days. Son, you just may hurt yourself more than that otter. I'll have another box, please. There's 50 shells in this box, son. That should be enough. I'll have another box, thank you. Do you want to put this on your Uncle Ben's account? Yes, sir. Well, Eddie, you got enough ammunition there for a platoon. Plan to stay for the winter? No, it's not that. Glad to have you. Match strings always out. Well, Turkey will be coming in for long. No, thanks, Uncle Ben. I'll be going home before then. Well, I guess you can always save ammunition. You don't use it. I'll use it, if I have to. I mean to kill that otter, then get back to Richmond. I just don't seem to belong here at the pond. Well, that's how it is.
know, Mr. White. <laughs> you... More drink, boy. Come on. No, sir. <laughs> ah, it's real shiny gun. Fancy, too. Shoot too good. What you doing out here, boy? I was hunting. Hunting? Huh? Ain't either. No, you ain't. See, I was following this otter. The otter? <laughs> ain't no otter never got nobody out this muck. I was, because... Rich kid coming in here, putting it on before the common fool. Feeding me to a dog. A dog? You think you fool Sam White, huh? You've seen it. You've been back here before, ain't you? Mr. White... You've seen it all right. Seen it was going to tell. Maybe you already told about it. You did tell, didn't you? You told! Who'd you tell about it? I don't understand. Yeah. Well, see what? Please, Mr. White, I was hunting. Honest. Come back. Maybe they need help for a It's your fancy gun, huh? What you come here after? Mr. White, I promise. You wanted old Sam White's secret, didn't you, huh? Well, come on, let's go get it. You've been back here a lot, ain't you, huh? Looking around, smelling around, trying to find what old Sam White doesn't have nothing to do with you. Do that for Sam? Last thing I expected to find was coming to this far, Ed. How are you getting by these days, Mr. Sam? Uh, passable. Passable. Well, that's better than poorly. Indeed it is. Hey, you stumbled onto a bit of luck here. Find yourself this old abandoned poaching camp. Those gator hides are worth some real cash money. That's right. And they sure do belong to the finder. No one can dispute that. <laughs> Mr. Sam here is a lucky man, wouldn't you say, Joey? Yes, sir. I tell you, though, you're not going to be so lucky if you don't keep closer to home. Uncle Ben was out looking for you. They asked me to chase you back if I came across you. Yes, sir. 
If uh, Mr. Sam there is finished looking at your rifle, you better think about being on your way. Real shiny, kid. That's not to keep your Uncle Ben waiting. You just get yourself in trouble. No profit of that. When you get to be of ages with me and Mr. Sam here, you find that best to avoid trouble if you can. Wouldn't you say that's a fact, Mr. Sam? Yeah, I reckon. Speaking of trouble, this deep in the swamp, well, it's kind of a dangerous place to be. Things can happen in these backwaters. Stories they tell. You just might bump into old Rufus Makuda. I'd suggest you didn't make it a habit of being back here. I'd say the same thing to Joy here. He's a kind of a special friend. I wouldn't want anything to happen to him. Back to you, says. It's mine. Come on, Joey, let's get out of here. Our story continues after the... Stop trying, Joy. Sorry to tell you that. You won't eat or drink. You won't do any moving around beyond what's necessary. Joey! 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 Hey, Joey! We're just out this way, Joey. And I saw your bat toe. I was wondering after Charlie. Can't say much promising about him, Odie. Kirby's tending to him now if you want to go in. No, no, no. It won't bother him. How's that rifle of yours? Well, you know. What's that? Mm, just a few things. Kind of special to us. Sure hasn't been the same without Charlie. When he went, Hunter's luck went with him. Of course, with a squirrel gun, don't need a dog. A rifle don't. What kind of things? Oh, valuables. <clears throat> well, looky here. Crow call. Take one of these out in the woods. Best wear a hat. Let some crows try and nest in your hair. And here. Muskrat skins. A couple of rabbit ones, too. Boar's teeth we got. You take one of these and rub it on a snake bite. The snake dies. Natural fact. You want to trade for the rifle. We sure could set our table up proper with it. Things been bad. On the end of them animals. Kind of rare, one like this. Head and all. Could be worth cash dollars. Maybe a lot. Back at Richmond. Anyway, you was talking about a trophy. I need the gun. That otter that hurt Charlie. Before I leave here, I'm going to kill him. Hey, that's right a good enough idea. Otter pelts worth every bit of $20. $20? You don't understand. No, it's not that. It's just something I have to do. 
We'll see you soon, Joey. You've got to be heading back now. Bye, Odie. Claude. Still got a day's frog in the of us. Yep, that dearly loves his frog legs. You take care now, you hear? They thought I was hunting the otter for what the pelt would bring. Yeah, the otters aren't very good eating. They're just running after the profit to it all. Drink this, Charlie. You gotta do it. Take this now, boy. Do it for me, Charlie. Kill him for you. Gonna kill that otter, Charlie. It's a promise. I'll do it for you. Gonna kill that otter. The otter had young to protect when it fought with Charlie. Guess it didn't have much choice. Man's the only animal in the whole world has any real choice about anything at all. How's Charlie? Charlie's gone, son. No, not that way. At least I hope not. Left my place, went off by himself. Well, strong enough to run off. That's a good sign, isn't it? I'm not going to try to soften the blow, Joey. 
You should know animals do that sometimes, wanting to be alone when they feel they're gonna die. I'm not saying that's necessarily the case, but you should be prepared for that. Joy. Our story continues after these messages. And now, back to our story. How does time come up, that dog did? Best talk about this tomorrow, Joey. My dad's coming for me in the morning. Come say goodbyes then? Wanted to thank you for showing me around and everything. I'd like to ask you a favor. This won't be much use to me in Richmond. I wonder if you could keep it here for me. We'll take extra care of it, Joey. Promise a word on it. Giving us your gun, Joey? Might as well be where it'll do some good. Well, so long now. Joey, you got a head full of things I want to say, but... Well... It's been special knowing you, Joey. Yeah, real special. Take care. And yourself, Joey. And yourself. Sharvey, it was really nice meeting you. My pleasure, Mr. Moncrief. Goodbye, Sharvey. And thanks. Thanks for everything. Don't forget now, you're right once in a while, you hear? I will. All boards going aboard. 
Go on, get out of here. Bye, Uncle Ben. You come back and see me, you hear? a few pounds. He looks in good shape. Hey, he's right up to snuff, I'd say. Hey, Ben. He's looking for Joey. Where is he? I didn't miss him. I'm afraid you did, son. He and his dad just headed back to Richmond, just drove out. Maybe we could catch him at the point. Yeah. for the rifle. He's your dog, Joey. Like he never been nobody else's. I want you to take him with you. No. Yeah, I can't take him, Odie. Charlie's part of this place. This is where he belongs. You stay here, Charlie. I'll miss you, too. Hey, fella. You know, Joe, there's always next summer. at 7, Hoffs and Aoki scope a questionable neighborhood watch group on 21 Jump Street. At 8, tune in for America's Most Wanted. And at 8.30, Al builds a corporate commode on Married with Children, starting tonight at 7 here on Fox 5.